Two teams of three creative people each will start in Berlin and travel in opposite directions. One team goes east, the other one goes west. They want to make it to the other side of the world, Japan, only by traveling from one friend to another. Thank you, and I will write your best. It's three in the morning, and it's already sunrise. Uh, so it's been out for about an hour now. We were on the train on our way in the 52 hours train ride. It was even worse than I thought because uh, we got only upper beds in the train and the upper beds don't have any place for us to sit. We gotta stay fit, so doing our workout on the train today. It's a little cramped. There's not much room, but so what we gotta do. We didn't brought any food with us. So we're like, okay, we're gonna be 52 hours on the train with no food and what well, we survived. Yeah. <laughs> She helped us a lot because Paula got uh, two snacks that we couldn't eat because they tasted like crab and, and all, what was the other one? Pickles? And she changed with us for one with cheese. So, <laughs> and I start talking to her, kind of, mimicking a lot. And then I start talking to also the other family that was there. So. Everyone here met on this train and well, we are here to make friends, we are talking to people and although she couldn't speak English and I cannot speak Russia, uh, we could communicate sometimes with the help of Google Translation Translator and sometimes with mimics and kind of guessing what each other was thinking, you know, <laughs> like it was really cool to hang out with them i was really happy about that <laughs> look guys where are we living literally this is a really texas lifestyle okay not our car but uh, our texas lifestyle here is so good So today we're out with Chuck, he's over there, busy feeding the horses and yeah, we'll see what happens today. Well, rain right here, we got to talk to ourselves. Yeah. They don't like it too well, it kind of gives them colic, so we kind of have to switch them over slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were trying to pack ah, this one up, so we get a little corn oil in it, in the belly and... Um, we went around feeding horses and stuff and yeah, it was pretty cool. So yeah, so I think it was quite exciting. I enjoyed myself. I love horses. I love being around nature. So the um, Panos and Yvonne, we all went for a run, but I just run a little bit faster, I think. And I just wanted to run by myself and go for a nice sneaky, sneaky little swim. And um, guys, I think I'm lost, eh? To be honest, I think I'm really, really lost. I don't actually even know where I am. Gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Um, it's starting to rain quite hectically. Uh, hopefully I don't get shot because I'm on someone else's land. Oh, there's dogs everywhere. Oh la la. Shh, shh, shh. Hey boy. Hello. Hello. Hey. So yeah, I'm surrounded by dogs right now. No idea whose dogs these are. Um, so we'll see. I'm gonna climb over. Oh, hello. So, I went for a run and got lost. <laughs> okay, so I'm on track. Um, met a lovely lady here. She's got a tiny home. But I got shocked. This is the kind of fence I got shocked on. Oh, my word. <gasps> I was stroking them. 
and there's an electric fence there. I didn't know about it and I got whacked. Ooh, I got no food for you, but you know that. These guys all just want food. If they don't want to give love, they want food, 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 food. Hello. Hello. How are you? Renata. Renata. Renata, okay. Renata. 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 At 6 in the morning we get there and Romo was waiting at the train station for us, which was really cool. Um, I think it's a Russian culture here that uh, they pick you up from the train station. Very welcoming and like we're never lost because we're instantly with somebody, which is really cool. So we did that, went straight to the interview. Yeah, so we have just gotten to the TV station um, and we are about to do a live interview. And so apparently, hopefully the host speaks English. If not, this is gonna be really interesting because we each know about three words in Russian now. I don't know what to do. Just be quiet. Looks like you're getting a wax. <laughs> yeah. В гостях Джои Брикс. Это инженер, который любит знакомиться с новыми людьми, бывать на свежем воздухе. С ним Рената Миллингтон. Это бразильская журналистка, которая любит спорт и рассказывать истории. И Паула Савелку по миру. По сути, бросила работу, чтобы побывать в Красноярске. Доброе утро. Привет. Доброе утро. Привет. Да, доброе утро. <laughs> ну, давайте расскажем еще о проекте, как ребята из разных стран собрались в Красноярске и почему они едут в Японию. Что это за такой проект? So, the guys, will you tell them about the project? Uh, because they are really interested in in why you are traveling to Japan and why are you here? Yes. Oh, well, we are here to make friends. This is the biggest uh, purpose of this project. Um, it started in Germany, in Berlin, and we are traveling from one friend to another. And it is actually an experiment to prove that everyone in the world is connected. So after that, we went directly to his place of work. He is a director and also a teacher. Uh, they have like a gym classes, exercises, uh, arts, painting, music. And said that the kindergartners had a like special surprise for us. So we went around back because that's where the school is. And he like, we walk in and just, it was, Incredible. <laughs> Took me back to kindergarten, <laughs> really. So it was like a lot of fun. It like felt like we were kids again. Another really cool thing right after that, so Roma had this day of like bam, 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 doing all this stuff. Um, we went to plant some trees outside of the school because it was there doing a environmental project. We went there and like, I don't know, everybody was just super happy to have us helping out, and so the first three trees we got to plant, so. <laughs> it was just really cool getting to do some volunteer work abroad. So we are in Austin, Texas, and we're gonna meet Patty now in Austin, Texas. She's there, she's there, we are at her house. Hello. Hi, I'm Patty. Hello. My name is Patty Epps. Um, I'm 46 years old. Um, I live in Austin, Texas, and my occupation is as a professor of linguistics. Okay. What is this snowball? What is this snowball? Yes. What does it mean? She's more of the right. I also have a dog. Yeah. Okay. I was I was really impressed by her. I think like she had a wonderful energy and and was a very lovely person. It was very easy to communicate with her. What would you say to her? I really admire her very much and that when I think about myself as a linguist and, and about my career and I don't know which decision to take, sometimes I think on how would Patty behave in that situation and that serves as a, as a guidance. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> we went to a half birthday party of a friend of her kid. Hey bro, so where are we going? Um, 
place called Secret Beach. Um, it's a place in, on Lady Bird Lake where you can sort of swim and wade. <laughs> that lady is really has really good like her is really good soul I think I don't know like she's smiles and is like so genuine. So it's very loud, but we are here at a uh, dog shelter where Roma likes to volunteer his time. They are very friendly. What's up, bud? My name is Natalia. Come on, dear. Natalia is uh, the successor of the founder of this project. This project starts three years ago with uh, 40 rescued dogs. Uh, today they have 78. They only rescue dogs that are almost dying in a very hard condition. We are all on a hike, so that's cool. It is, it is, it is super I was uh, telling that in this house lives really big, fat and uh, lazy squirrel who so fat even cannot jump from trees to trees and oh come God. to people and just take food, not even afraid, you know. It means um, like children, ga uh, children garden place and this says um, be careful bears and number if bears will attack you. <laughs> My dad used to tell me all the time, don't go there, you're gonna fall and die. So, yeah. It's a good story then. I am, you went out climbing. <laughs> I am really afraid of uh, rocky climbing. Because next rock, it's uh, called Grandfather. And no, uh, it's not very much. Yeah, because he looks like Grandfather, seriously, like a shape of uh, nose and face. Claustrophobia? No, no, of course not. Oh no! <laughs> We've made it to the top of Grandpa Rock. Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. We're on a Grandpa's shoulder. We're on Grandpa's shoulder. So how do I feel? I feel really good. I mean, the people here have just been incredible. Everybody has been so much fun and like, I don't know. I never would have expected it from Russia really, but just how open and friendly and hospitable everybody has been is just like heartwarming. I mean, it's really just makes you really appreciate the journey uh, when you meet the people like this and get to do these really exciting things and where you finish the day and you are just so dead tired, but with a massive smile on your face because it's been such a great time. Um, so yeah, I've absolutely loved it. Which friend do you send us to? Who and where is she? Ah, so this is Lena Mickelson in Berkeley, California. Yeah, we met, but then we said goodbye to Patty, and then on Saturday we left for a road trip. But the amazing thing is that we stopped for a toilet, five minutes for Yvonne, and then boom, we met a guy there, Nick, long hair guy, crazy guy, and he said, come with me. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff. Shots and have fun with them. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Let's make it happen, Cam. I have no idea what is going on. We met strangers and now we're drinking wine with them. I have no idea where we are and what we're doing. So do you usually make friends like this? Yes, I do. Just on the street. Just do what I do. <laughs> Amazing. 
<laughs> we ended up there for two hours. We met locals and we have fun with them and we listen to music. <laughs> We went to Jackson, Jackson Town for camping in the night. It was an amazing place, actually. We met Shane that works there, and he decided he's gonna go tubing with us. Lollipop, 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 lollipop. So, tell us what's your name, what you're doing here? My name is Shane Clark. Um, I'm, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to help people. Cool. Like, I, I love people, I love helping people, I hate people suffering. Yeah. And uh, there's too much of that. Just too much pain in the world. I want to change that. I want to help people. Oh. Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed the YouTube journey and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you want to see more, click here or here.